Hello everybody, this is Maximilian and we are surviving with Immersive Engineering. Hello folks, well last episode we upgraded our power into the factory, or workshop should I say. So, has been working well, I've got uh, 1 million, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I haven't done any more with these, uh, I have used a bit of creosote though. So, uh, Needed a bit more timber or treated wood, should I say? Timber, yeah, uh, treated wood. So, yeah, not uh, done masses amounts. Um, as you can see, we've got some other bits and pieces sorted. There's a bit of a uh, has been a lot going on, but um, just thought I'd come and check these. I am using the reinforced at the moment, so I've gone to the reinforced. So, using the survivalist tight which is this recipe and the strainer wide which is this recipe here so I should get a mixture um, so, so 5760 uses so you've got, got a good chance of getting them and the same with that 35% for that so it's quite a high percentage compared to even though that's there, you still, you've got quite a bit of low percentage getting everything. So these are the two higher ones I have just put into, before I started recording, the um, fisherman. So I've got two now on the go. So we'll see what comes up with that. Nice, very nice. Oh, I can see it's getting dark already. I've been busy be just before the episode uh, recording, like I said. So, things to sort out for this episode well it, this could spread over a couple of episodes I don't think we're going to be able to fit everything into this episode totally so we'll start and um, we'll continue in the next episode so what are we looking at today well today is uh, we need to start to improve our uses of ores now I've been very sparing on what I've got um, a load of it is in here so what do we need to do to help that well one of the machines that we're going to make and it is a multi-block machine as uh, a lot of the machines in uh, immersive engineering are and that is we're going to go into the crusher so this is the crusher it's going to be Oops. so that's what it's going to look like once we finish with it but as you can see there's quite a lot of blocks to do with it let me just so there is quite a lot of blocks to go with it all right so that's so in the book it tells you the process of, of what blocks to make and to see what you actually require is there so the required materials steel scaffolding registered engineering block 10 light engineering blocks steel fences and hoppers so that's what we're going to need all right but we'll come to that in a minute because oops excuse me we also need power now like I said in the last episode is the windmills are not the best they are the basics of power so even though they look good they don't generate a lot even the improved windmills they're only producing 40 RF each so what can we use to produce power well again I think I talked about it in the other episode and so we're going to look at uh, this power generation here and we're going to need some more kinetic dynamos which I've already made I'll show you where I've done them we've done this windmill we've done the improved windmill but this is what we're going to do now okay we're going to do the water wheel this is what we're going to make so I will show you what I have been building it's not fully up and ready at the moment we might be able to finish some of it off but if you noticed I used to have a hole here so it took me a bit of time uh, in fact it took me a good four or five hours to uh, get this dug out and prepared how I want it to be and uh, this is the way down so not 100% sure whether I like this but uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes with the rest of the build so as we come on down here 
we have a nice little area because the actual water, let me just go over here, is still there. So uh, all I've done is just improved it and just moved it about a little bit, just a little bit of terraforming and created two, these two waterfalls just to give it a little bit of a nice feel to it. And then I uh, built these two areas here. Now this is not what I've worked out, I have used it off another design. Um, so this is from somebody else. Uh, let me just have a look at who it is. Um, is it Mischievous of Mice? Mischief of Mice, sorry. Um, so I've watched his videos on immersive engineering. Um, very, very good tutorial. And uh, this is a design that he's used, although I've kind of like adapted it because his was all above ground. This is what I've done underground. So I thought I'd hide my water wheels away. I'm going to have two sets here. Alright, so, and as you can see, already got the dynamos already set up and in and even wired up as well so we are good to go to start setting the rest of the uh, system up ready for so let's come back up here so water wheels now if we do this right we should get about 80 RF per tick or at least 80 RF per tick I don't think it does anything more than that um, so what we need to do is start to make one of these so to make one of these we need the water wheel segment so we need four of those and steel igment, uh, steel segments ingot sorry no steel ingot yeah put my teeth back in so I have prepared these already so I should be able to make eight that is what I have come for you'll see why I need eight although I'll probably need a little bit more because this will only produce me two so let me just get some more of these so it's for those and then we want 12 of these So two four and then these there and that should give me twelve. I may need to make some more, but at the moment that will do. Gonna need three steel ingots and then I can put these into here. The do stack, so not to worry too much about it. Right, so you're going to wonder why I've made three. Well, you can start off with one if you wanted to, um, but the maximum you can put together is three, and fairly simple to place down. In fact, I might need some other bits of stuff before I start to finish off my build. Um, Fences, fences, fences. So I have made some uh, treated wood fences. Although where my treated wood is, I have, I think I've used them all actually. I think I've used all my fences. So I've done 12. That should be more than enough. Right, so how do these work? Well, first things first, we need to put the dynamo just like we did with the improved and the normal windmills. So let's go down here and let's see if we can put these on. I may need to go up the top to fit the last one on. Don't know yet. Um, in fact, let's just move these out of the way. Okay, so same principle as before. So we must have the dynamo looking like this. And then all we do is we click on to the dynamo and it's not fitting. <laughs> so let's. So that means that we are going to have to move the dynamo. Okay, that's not a problem. So let's put that there. Uh, got some treated wood. So let's just build up to there. In fact, no. It's not going to let me. So where is it? Here. So that there. That to that. Yep. Yeah. So, start again. So, we can put one on. Alright, that's the uh, first one on. 
So once we've got that one on, we should be able to start fitting the rest. And the same again, like so you can fit one on as it is, alright, so if you just wanted the one wheel, you can add a second wheel and a third wheel, but no more than three. You can't uh, have any more than three. And the reason why I've got it there is because of the water itself. Right. So that is that done. Excellent. Right. <coughs> so um, I'm going to need my buckets out. Let's move these out of the way. So I'm going to need three buckets of water. I'll get them from. I can do these three at the bottom, actually. Two, three. Right. There's three areas that we need to place these in, and the first one is at the bottom here. If you notice, we've got a trench here, but there's not one here. All right, so we, this is where we need to uh, do the wheel. But I think the wheel is slightly offset. It doesn't look right to me. So let's. Uh, we might have to remove the wheels, actually. Maybe wrong. Let me just uh, let's have a try of this. Cause I did just place it down. And like I say, I have slightly changed it. So let's just see if changing the wheel or changing where the dynamo is is going to make a difference. So again, that one there. It's not going to make much difference for the actual cable. All right, it's not going to make much difference for that. Um, it might make a difference to this. I don't think so. I think that's the right. But it's, that's what it's all about. A bit of trial and error. No, I think it is definitely going to have to be. It is what it was central. That was enough. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Right. Two, three. Oop. Haha. What are you going to beat me, eh? Right, there's the connector. Uh, we're still going to use LV as well. Uh, LV, we're just going to use MV in fact. So we're still using that. So I'm just checking the uh, timer itself. It's important that we uh, get it right. So, one, two, three. So that's that. Hopefully that shouldn't affect or be affected. We'll also find out. That's what this is all about. So, let's get my fences there. So the first three buckets is one there, one there, and one there. And the fences is going to stop any water coming down. And I'm going to stick that one there. Now as you can see, once I've now that I've put those uh, there, the wheel starts to turn already. It looks like it could be dark, so... We'll have to uh, be careful when we get back up. Yeah, it is dark. So let's just quickly go to sleep. And this is why I said it's. Uh, I don't want to rush myself. I want you to be able to see what uh, what I'm doing and what I've been doing, and then you can go from there and, and copy. Follow me along. Um, I can't remember if I've given you the seed, but uh, if not, I shall type in seed. So there you go, there's the seed itself, so if you do want to follow along, by all means. Right, so that's the three there. Now that's not going to give us that much power, so so again we need to put get another three buckets. And these next three I'm going to place here. So they should start turning the wheel that little bit more. And then the last three need to be here. Oop, not there. Just there. One there, one there, and one there. So, might change the wheel a little bit. That's it, change the direction of the wheel, but now the wheel should be powering. So, let's have a quick look. We're wasting power at the moment because uh, we're not doing anything with it. We're just uh, letting the wheel just power itself. But that is now the water wheel all nicely turning. Let's have a look here. So now we've got the water wheel turning. And what I intend to do is um, put glass at the top there so it actually sits on glass. Um, I did do a um, 
iterative build just to see how this will work. It's a little bit lower than what I was exp what I was um, planning, but it does fit in with what I want. Um, it has worked out quite nice actually because I can put glass there and all around, so you can actually see underneath here rather than um, having it all fenced off. The last thing I wanted to do was actually make it a little bit more aesthetic. Was place getting rid of those? So let me just get out of the water. So now it looks like as if the uh, water is feeding into the water wheel. Cool. Now I've done another one which is uh, down there, so I just need to uh, perhaps just raise that up one bit. One. But uh, other than that, the wheel is turning and we've now got power. And this is where the power runs into and it comes out of here. So let's have a quick check of the uh, time again. Excellent, right. So we've got that, we've got that. What we can do now is start to prepare ourselves for. Let's get to. Uh, whoops. Let's get them in there. Let's get that there. Okay, so the next thing is, is the actual uh, fat. I did make a MV connector, so what I'm going to do is we will connect up. Now, before we do that, one of the things that I will make is is basically let's do that is we've got these uh, wooden posts we can make other posts we've got steel posts and aluminium posts but we're just going to make some wooden posts and these are nice little bits and quite um, make things look really aesthetic so what do these posts do so once I build on these posts you can place it down in the world uh, I'll put the other one down another one down here while we uh, while we are here and what do these posts do well the post can you can do several things with the post for one thing we can walk up to it and then we can actually climb up it just a little bit of a jump we can actually climb up it to the top Ta -da. <laughs> um, so you can actually climb up the posts we can use our hammer and we can actually change the posts so anyone who I've seen electricity cables in their own countries may see something similar to this. So if we get our engineer's hammer and we right click onto it. Okay. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Strange glitch there. Um right, we yes, we can do we can add an arm onto it. Now the arms we can do one either side, but we cannot do any more. So once we've done the either side then uh it won't go a four way. We can only do it the same position like that. Now the beauty about these arms is let me just get a connector, one of those and one of you. Let's get them out of the way. Is that we can place these on top and we have three positions where we can place them on. And we can place whatever we want to replace on there, any of the connectors. Doesn't matter, doesn't have to be the same, uh, so it doesn't have to be all MVs. We can have LV and MV on here. That's the beauty about that. The other thing is is that if you if you see you can see a uh, dark block actually going round or actually showing the end of the block here. If I right click that onto there, it will automatically shift down. So now if I was to connect that to there, there we go. So it actually now shifts down, which is good. I like that. Now the other thing we're going to put down into the world is we're going to place down our MV. So just click that on the top there. We're going to need another MV wire. So we're actually not wasting the power and onto there and straight away creating power. I'm not a bad rate of knots either. Pretty impressed with that. Happy with that. Good, good, good. Now, I can't remember if I said something about these cables. Now, these, the cables, and the same with the LVs, and same with the HVs, which we will go on uh, later on in the series, but uh, the MVs and LVs, is that the actual copper, or actual cable itself, because that's copper and this is uh, electrum, they can actually 
transfer I think it's four times as much power than what the connectors can receive so so in this instance uh, I believe the connectors can receive 1024 however this can put down power of 4096 which is great if you've got multitude now I'm gonna have two lots of uh, water wheels running and to save myself from having um, lots of different connections I can connect put another uh, um, post over there and then I can connect that to the same connection and it will transfer both power down this down this line the difference is, is that when you come to your capacitor you would need two of these so you would need to split off and actually um, put two of your wire connectors to there but you can pass it through the relays the relays will accept that as well or it doesn't affect the relays so you can actually add loads of power to that send it down that line and then you just spread it um, to different points on the actual capacitor so you actually so yeah it's pretty good which we'll be using we will be using allowing us to pass uh, cables um, so it means it minimizes what you're actually going to be powering down there okay so less of my waffle and just while I'm on it you wanted to you may be wondering how I got the uh, mossy stone uh, bricks and also you can see down there I've got the mossy stone cobblestone that is quite simple actually in that f in the fisherman's um, strainer I get vines and uh, with that with the vines where we if I go to mossy stone recipe you can use vines in normal cobblestone and it gives you mossy stone I have been uh, trying to cultivate some as well but uh, yeah so we have had uh, that's how I was able to achieve that well, I just thought it makes it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing so power is up we are now collecting power at some point I will get the second one done and then I'll cover this in glass so you can walk around it and uh, but it will look hopefully will look nice so now it's on to the prep of the actual machine itself so excuse me what does it actually need well, first things first let's make sure I've got some food so baked potatoes always like a baked potato right so to make these extra bits let's put the post in there let's put that in there for the time being don't need the buckets let's have a bit of a tidy up because I don't like my uh, inventory to be too cluttered right let's leave that as that so let's move back into there so we said in there that we needed uh, hang on a minute so for the heavy machine onto the crusher itself so this is going to give us this is going to double our ores so uh, we're going to get more out of our uh, ingots uh, sorry our uh, ores that I've actually mined which is a fair bit um, but at least we'll be able to uh, double them so it tells us there 10 steel scaffolding redstone engineer blocks light engineer blocks steel fencing and hoppers well hoppers I think most people know how to do but we'll still go do them uh, and get them prepped up so first things first steel scaffolding so we're going to need the steel for this so let's have steel and let's go for the scaffolding itself so steel scaffolding so this is how we make steel scaffolding to get six of them and we need what was it ten all right so to do that we need to get steel rods and to get steel rods it is two ingots with four so we're gonna have to do this a couple of times get some steel ingots and if we do that with that on the top there and that gives us our six or ten as we needed it so that's that's that two spare and that's the ten let's put anything extra on the bottom there excellent let's get these because I think we're going to need these as well right so we've got the 10 steel oops we've got the 10 steel scaffolding the next thing we need to do is the redstone engineer block we need one of those which is that block just there so we need one of those so redstone engineers block so engineers block very simple four 
redstone, four iron and one copper. Easily done. Fairly straight forward of that one. It gives us two, which is handy for when we make any other machines. But there we go. We've now got our redstone engineering block. Let's have a, another look at what we need to do. So we need ten light engineering blocks. So the light engineer box. Light engineer blocks. Let's have a look at this one. So we need so we need ten, won't it? Ten of those and it gives us two each, so we just need to make five of these. So to do this we need to make the iron mechanical components, so we're going to need four of those. So that's fairly straightforward. So one, two, three, four. Excellent. And then we're going to need four of those. Sorry, how many do we need? It's five in it. <laughs> My derp. Right, let's do that again. So we're going to need another, so that's given us four, so we're going to need another six. So that, so there it is, giving us six. And then that, and we're running out of iron. I thought we might do. I thought we might do with the old iron. Any old iron. So let's do that. Let's split that down into there. I said, I doubt I'm being very reluctant to uh, cook up any um, iron, because as I say, I don't want to waste it and what have you. Right, let's move on to what we can do next. So we can do the steel fence, and we need eight of those. So let's go for steel fence. So to make steel fence, we're going to need those steel rods. And it makes three of them, just like it is. So same recipe or similar recipe to what you would do with normal fences. Have two sticks and then your um, logs, or so your, your planks. Um, so this time it's now with ingots. And um, we're going to need to make another four of those. And how many of those was it again, sorry? It was eight steel fences. Well, we're going to make nine. So two, three, so that's nine. We only need eight, so we can do that and that. Uh, how's me iron doing? Right. So we've got six of those. I believe it's one, two, three, and then twelve. All of those. So that's me ten. Mm -hmm. So that's the ten of those. And the last thing is nine hoppers, and I think I'm going to need some more iron for that. So let's do another. Let's actually let's try and work this out. Well, I've got 21, 21 times 5 is 45, so I'm going to need 24. See, 24, and that should be our lot. Don't want to be doing any more than that, so let's get these cooked up. I can hear skeletons running around and spiders, so let's just go for a bit of a sleep. And it is getting close to uh, time, let's have a quick look. So it is getting close to a time, and rather than try and rush and get into it, I'll do these last. Um, hoppers, so we need nine hoppers, and then uh, we shall finish the episode from there. And I will continue from where we left off. But first things first, let's just go and kill that spider and some skeletons if any of them are about. So there's definitely a skeleton here. Where is he? Uh, Mr. Spider, come on there, Mr. Spider. Thank you very much. I think that is it for there. So let's just go and get arrows. Let's clear my inventory and let's hope that everything else is there. Um, what do you think to the um, lanterns? 
just let me know what you think to them. Uh, I think it does clutter up a little bit, uh, but I think as we progress on, I think we can actually uh, do better because I think it, it it looks nice, um, but I think it's a bit much if you ask me. So, but anyway, so let's go on to the task in hand. So this is, should be hoppers. So we've got our nine hoppers. So we should have ten steel scaffolding, one redstone engineer block, ten light engineer blocks, steel fence and a hopper. And that should be us ready for the next episode. And that's where we can leave off there. So we've been able to get ourselves sorted with better power it's still not the best all right it's still not definitely not the best but it is an improvement to the windmills itself and at some point all our power will come together and then power all our machines from there um the crusher should that's the reason why i could say it did two the crusher should be able to run off one but if not i will run it off the two but that's the reason why i've got a mv um, capacitor which is filling up quite nicely actually uh, where I'm going to place the crusher is around here but for the time but uh, it's not going to stay here I want it to uh, I haven't quite decided where I'm going to put it yet but um, yeah I hope you uh, liked the build I hope you uh, enjoyed the episode it was uh, well quite nice and laid back I don't want like to, like to rush around like to have everything uh, all sorted we know how to do the uh, capacitors the, the uh, Sorry, not capacitors. Yeah, well, the capacitors I already had built. We've already seen that being built. Um, same with the dynamos. It was just a case of setting up the water wheels. And you'll see that none of the water comes out. That's the reason why I've got fences on there. And the reason why I've got everything over there. Try to make it look as nice and keep it as uh, fresh and part of the build. I don't always want to do a tutorial. No offence to anybody who does do a tutorial. Um, Pure for the fact is, is that... I wanted to do a little bit uh, more and uh, let's move these a bit. So yes, so uh, yes, I hope you do like it. Uh, I hope it uh, has given you a few ideas of how to do things. I think it's nice just to do something a little bit different. And like I said, it's. Uh, Makes it look the idea is to make it look aesthetically pleasing, realistic. It's all part and parcel of the build. So I just not waffling. I shall leave you for now, and uh, in the next episode we will continue building the crusher. So without further ado, I shall say cheerio and uh, see you in the next episode. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye for now.